Hey out there everybody, Gun Psychiatrist here. So in this video, what we're going to show you is how to use the LOSH feature in Fusion 360. If you watched the last video, we covered the sweep feature and now we're going to be moving on to the LOSH feature. But in the last video, I said that I was not going to divulge exactly what we're going to do in this video. Today, what we're going to do is one of my most favorite things is making barrel rifling. And I'm going to show you how to do this with not only using the loft tool, but constructing different planes over a span to loft or connect the objects to, to make the spin of lands in a rifle barrel. So without uh, further elaboration, uh, if you've been enjoying these videos, please uh, use the button down below, like and subscribe to the channel. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to go ahead and start off with a new Fusion 360 design file. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a sketch. And let's, for just whatever purposes, let's call this 30 millimeters. And then let's take a, another one, call that 29 millimeters. Now, let's uh, constrain this sketch. Um, Call this uh, 15 millimeters this way and call it 15 millimeters that way. All right. And now we need to come up. What I'm doing is I'm creating a center line. Let's take off our construction feature, put a line here, put a line here. And let's say this land is what we're creating right now. And just in case you're wondering, in a rifle barrel, there's lands and there's grooves. Obviously, the grooves are the parts that go in and take the uh, major diameter of the internal of the barrel. The lands are the, the rifling that protrudes downward from the, the circumference of the barrel. Let's make it a point one two five, an eighth of an inch. And then half of one two five, I think is going to be point zero six two five. Okay, and then we're going to take it from here. Come on, fusion. Killing me. 0.0625. Now we need to find a circular pattern. All right, so I made one small change here. I went ahead and made seven lands instead of eight. Um, so we got to think here. A little thing about barrel rifling, it's all geared in a ratio of turns per inch. So usually most of your small arms rifles uh, around the three weight caliber run anywhere from one to 10 and one to 12 on a twist ratio. That means for every complete revolution, the bullet's going to travel 10 or 12 inches and for the sake of this one uh, let's just keep everything in perspective and feet uh, let's let's call it one and 12 twist we're going to do on this 30 millimeter barrel and so that means for every 12 inches it's going to make one full 360 degree revolution of the rifle making a plane from this plane and we're going to set it out half the distance of 12 inches so we're going to put this out to six inches okay and in between this plane and this plane if we do a 1 in 12 twist, that means we need a, a plane about every 1.5 inches. And I'll show you the math on that. So, all right. So first off, we've got to figure the angle of the turn. So at 360 degrees, um, divided by 12, that's 30 degrees at every point we need to have. But instead, we're only going to do half of that. So we need to take 180 degrees divided by 30 degrees. We need six planes. And if we're only going half of 12 inches, which is six inches divided by six, that's going to be a plane every inch. We're going to take a plane, a one inch offset. So now we have these planes set up. 
one thing we need to do is we're going to come down here and this timeline can get really busy so what we're going to do is we're going to capture all these while holding down the control button and left clicking them once we have them all highlighted we're going to go ahead and create a group so we know these are our planes in our group now we're going to enter this sketch one more time and what i'm going to do is i'm going to snag this sketch and hit control c to copy it okay so now the next plane what we need to do we need to come here create a sketch we're going to hit control v okay and we're going to turn this 30 degrees next one we're going to turn 60 degrees the sketch and now you see why i keep this construction line in here that way you can keep track of where your uh, where your top land is so we can chase it with the other lands next one create sketch and we already have one two three so 30 times four is going to be 120 150. now this, this one, one is going to be my so as, as we can see, see this uh, it's almost like a clock, clock a minute hand, 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, 180. So we have half of our barrel, but more or less a quarter. We're gonna make this barrel two feet long. The one in twelve twists, 30 millimeter barrel. So what we're gonna do now is come down here and snag this off to the And we're going to grab that. Grab that. I think you have to do a lot for each single one. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and make all our sketches visible once again. Same thing, we're going to loft it. So when we're using this move tool, what we do is we're reversing this. And uh, we're going to do a point to point. So we're going to select this center point right here. We're going to come down here. Select the center point on that. And the same thing, we're going to grab this again. We're going to hit Control C. Copy. We're going to go point to point. There. And there. We have a two foot barrel, but I think it should be a little longer. This is a 30 millimeter after all. Let's do it justice. So we now have a four foot barrel, but what we have is a bunch of slices in this right point. And so the way we're going to contend with that is we're going to copy this and we're going to join it on. It's automatic. Keep it. Now what we have is seven root rifle. So as you can see from this video, we, uh, we went through and used the law to, to create rifle. And you can do this literally with any shape. Um, the law tool is pretty amazing with what you can do as far as extruding surface features or what have you. You can do a lot of stuff in fusion with it, but that was just one example. We can play with some others by request. So if you're interested in seeing some other uh, loft uh, tutorials, just uh, you know, leave a comment below and I'll do my best to put one up for you. But anyways, I want to thank you for watching. If you find this helpful or engaging or what have you, please consider giving us a like down below and subscribe to the channel. Thanks again. Until next time, it's like after signing off. God bless America. Thank you.